Hello and welcome. In this video, I just walk you through one of the frequently asked interview question. The question is, if we are not registering the class with a factory using factory registration macro, then what do we have to do in that case? And remember, it is one of the most frequently asked interview question. So before proceeding to this, I request you to go through the video of factory and factory registration and the factory overriding concept which already I have uploaded. I will put a link of that video in the description. So first go through that video and then if you are proceeding after that to this video, you will find this concept easy to understand. Now let me try to discuss uh, this question. So we are not going to discuss what is factory in factory registration, just we are trying to understand this question. So as you know, there are two factory registration macros. First one is for registering a class with a factory. And another one, th this first one is tick UVM component details for component registration factory micro and tick UVM object details which is factory registration micro for object class and in the parenthesis we have to give the class names. So if we are not using this tick UVM component details for a component class and tick UVM object details for an object class. In that case, we have to write this seven lines of code. So what is that? Let's try to understand. First, we have to use this type def UVM component registry. Within parenthesis, we have to give the class name. So we are considering a producer and consumer class. So in that case, let's take the producer class. Okay. So we are not registering a producer class with a factory using factory registration micro we are using this in the producer so in the parenthesis we have to provide the class name and then it's a type id right just we have to define with this type id using this jovm component register which is of type def hinge now we have to define two methods so first one is a static function which is used to get the type id wrapper so as you can see static function type id get type and it is returning a type id another function is to get the type name so for that function a string get type name which is returning the producer class and function so we have to write this seven lines of code if we are not registering a class with uh, factory registration micro so to make our job easy uvm developers made this factory registration micro so if it if we are not using then we have to write this seven lines of code in each and every component or object and it is you know difficult task so why to proceeding why to proceed with the seven lines of code if we have the concept of this tick uvm component details and tick uvm object details factory registration macro you can answer something like this now let me show you the practical implementation of this code so that you will remember the concept for it <coughs> so if you see this uh, example let me show you let me explain you the example what we are doing first two lines are you know mandatory in order, to get, in order to get the access of UVM micros and another one is in order to get the access of UVM classes. Now what we are considering, we are considering one producer class which is producing two data, integer type and a consumer class which is consuming this two data, whatever the producer is producing. And in the environment class, we are creating this producer and consumer and we are connecting them using 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 connect phase okay and we are using a uh, we are declaring one tlm fee forward to store the data 
Now in the test class, just uh, we are creating the environment and in the top just we are calling the run test which is a global task declared in the UBM root. Now let me show you the complete example. Okay. So as you can see this is a producer class which is extending from UVM component and we are using this tick UVM component it is back to registration micro and its default constructor expecting two arguments. Now here producer has this put port so we are defining tick uh, we are defining UVM block in put port parameterized with type of int and giving the name like put port and in the build phase just we are creating that put port okay now in the run phase inside this uh, raise objection and drop objection we are just trying you know generating two data zero and one and putting into that put port and just printing that whatever we are generating in the consumer class same we have to define a get port okay so uvm blocking get port parameterized with a type of int and it is also a component class we have to register with the component it is factory registration record and its default constructor expecting to work now in the build phase just we are creating that using new method and in the run phase just we are you know getting that and we get port two times and the environment just we are creating the declaring the handlers for this producer and consumer and we are declaring tl and fifa and we are using using of this tqpm component it's okay as it is a component class now in the build phase we are creating this producer and consumer using factory create method and in the connect phase we are making the connection like this producer has this put port which is connecting to this fifo uh, put export similarly for the consumer has this get port we are connecting this fifo get export medicine now in the test just we are creating the environment we are registering the test test with the factic uvm component it is factory station and just we are creating in the build phase that environment whatever we are declared using factory script method and in the top just within initial begin block we are calling this run test now let me show you how uh, it will the producer produce two data consumer consume the same two data if we are using factory station method so as you can see over here in the console you will find the producer which is producing zero the consumer which is receiving zero now the producer is producing one and the same time consumer is consuming very soon now let me show you if we are in let's say producer class we will remove this command this componentals factory registration micro and we have to use this then seven lines of code type def uvm component registry in the parenthesis we have to provide the class name like here it is producer and we have to define this type by defining it. and we have to <coughs> define two functions first one is to get the type id and another one is to get the type name now let me run this code and show you so it should get the same result So as you can see over here, the producer is producing zero. The consumer is consuming the getting, the, and the producer is producing first one, and the consumer is getting the same one. So this is what the concept of uh, the factory registration, Michael. So if we are not using this tick UVM factory, uh, you know tick UVM component tells and object details factory registration, Michael. In that case, we have to write this several lines of code. Okay, so you can answer something like this in that. So with this, I hope you have understood the concept of this factory registration micro. And if you are not using them, what we have to do in that case. And also, I hope you have enjoyed this. So thanks for watching. Thank you.